Alright, so this is the setup of the Amazon Fire TV stick light. So this is the remote. Um, if, if first indication, you should see some different languages. You're going to press play or pause and it should bring you here. So we're going to select English United States. Alright. And it gives you the setup for the, the Fire TV app. We're going to set up with the remote. So it said um, set up with remote. It's going to scan for your Wi-Fi networks. Um, this is definitely one of the features you want to have since Wi-Fi is um, needed. Notice the signal strength. You're going to choose a Wi-Fi network that's best. So the best one is the first. So we're going to choose this one. All right, we're going to enter the password off screen. All right, so we're connecting now. I've entered the Wi-Fi password. All right, so it's successfully connected. So it's checking for updates. Now we said this is a Fire TV light. It's a progress bar, and depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi, it should run through. Um, for a new TV stick, it should find what it's looking for very quickly. All right, just finishing updates. All right, so now we're going to um, sign in their Amazon account. So you can sign in if you have an account or create a new one from here. We're going to have an account and sign in. You can use another device to sign in. Um, so sign in with the QR code or of course sign in online. All right, so as it's playing now, um, as you can see, we have entered, you're going to press this button right over here when it's prompted on screen to bring up the sign in on the TV option. So we're entering the email, we're going to hit next. All right, it's going to ask for the password, we're going to enter the password as well. All right, so we have entered the password along with the email. It says it's successfully registered, as you can see. There you go. So it says welcome, and of course, we're gonna. Uh, you can change account or continue. So we're gonna continue using the default account. So save Wi-Fi password to Amazon. Um, it's up to you. If you want, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no. Checking for backups. That's if you had a previous installation on this. So it says this is your Fire TV stick. Light is designed. For kids and parents in mind, you can use your parental controls or no parental controls, depending on what your situation is. I'm going to say no parental controls. It's going to optimize for your TV or device. It says loading. All right. All right, gives you um, Prime for 30 days. See if you want. I'm going to say not now. Loading. So it gives you welcome, shows you the navigation, personalized TV profile, all of this stuff that you're going to get. So I'm just going to say got it. If you have ever used one of these, you should have a general idea. All right. Who's watching your TV? So it's going to choose the profile. All right. There you go. So it has now successfully set up um, the Fire TV stick. And as you said, you can use this for um, a generally for a TV. If your TV doesn't have a very good um, interface, that's the built-in interface, you can actually use this and this would be a better interface for the TV than the default operating system on your um, TV set. All right, so this is the setup process of the Fire TV Lite. As always, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.